What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We have a lot to go over in this video. Everything you need to know about the AMC MOAS will be disclosed to you in this video. But keep in mind, I am not a financial advisor. I am not a financial planner. So it is always up to you to come to your own conclusions. And my conclusion is we're probably going to see all-time highs at the very least a major rally after earnings and earnings were just confirmed to be November 8th. This is a very interesting day and I think it has some big significance as to this whole rally that I have been preaching about for the last week or so. So let's not waste any time. Let's get into this video. Quick message from the sponsor of this video, which is Moomoo. If you guys have not signed up with Moomoo, link down below in the description of this video, deposit $100, get up to $350 in free stock. I got a free share of Starbucks for depositing a hundred dollars. So that was an over 100% return for basically doing nothing. But they do have full extended hours trading, full pre-market and after hours trading, as well as that free level to market data. You have to pay for this at other brokerages, as well as 24-7 financial news. And the faster you can get news is where the money is at. And that is where I make most of my trades and facilitate these trades is based off of news events. So that right there is a blessing to have do not sleep on that as well as this is somewhat like public you can create a profile write post and you know interact with other like-minded investors so if you guys want to be part of it definitely check that out if you guys do like the service futu holdings is the main holding company holdings company of moo moo investing and essentially it stocks up about eight and a half percent today but always do your own due diligence when it comes to this good products tend to be good investments over the long term but let's get into amc what you guys really came to this video for and amc is up about four percent in trading today 3.93 percent to be more exact so definitely a strong day for the apes and i think this is only the start of a major rally that is coming we still have about a half an hour left of trading the last half an hour of trading on any given day tends to be the highest period for volume and we are at slightly higher than we have been over the past couple of days we're at about 31 million in volume currently so higher you know substantially higher than some days that we've seen about 23 million for volume 25 24 million so you're definitely seeing more people buying into the stock but this low volume is key once earnings come and there's obviously we're going to see big announcements from adam air and we already know that so i don't want to get into that too much announcing an, an entirely different business line as well as i do believe they're going to well outbeat their 768.8 million for revenue in the last quarter i think they're going to beat that i think there's going to be a lot of reasons to buy amc stock and virtually no reasons to short amc any longer so you may see hedge funds institutions actually look to cover on some of their short positions i would not get too hung up on that though now as well as that amc did announce today that they have had their best quarter ever since the pandemic started back in february of 2020 in october so definitely big big win for everybody that's probably a reason why amc is up about four percent today as well like i said november 8th is going to be the earnings for amc and that is massive in and of itself just due to the simple fact that that is on monday obviously not today it's november 1st monday but next monday so you're gonna have a whole week to get that continuation and to see that full development of how investors feel about earnings this is much better than having earnings on a thursday or friday because you don't have much time until the weekend where you know the momentum can really die down so i do think all in all you're going to see a big rally as earnings has showed us in the past every single earnings call in 2021 has provided a very bullish response you would have made a ton of money if you just bought amc on the earnings day and held it one month after earnings that's typically where we top out at in between two to four weeks after the actual earnings call so a lot of great things going for amc now let's get into some of this other stuff that is going on uh as far as the short interest and 
the 13F filings and the Stocko tracker data. So the Ortex data does give us a 16.83% short interest of free float, 86.08 million shares that are sold short. And relative to the volume that we are seeing on any given day at about 30 million for volume, even 24 million for volume, you can start to see why 86 million shares that are sold short, if this number is even correct, it's probably a lot higher. And when you do factor in the naked shorting, synthetic short positions, as well as just hedge funds institutions using the option chain to make it look like they have covered when, when in all reality, they have not. You factor that in with the low volume, it's going to be very hard for shorts to get out of their short positions. Days to cover as of October 26 was 2.22 days. So if all shorts wanted to cover all of their shares, it would take 2.22 days. That is a pretty high days to cover, and that leads to an even bigger short squeeze. Now, the share utilization is at 87.59%. This has actually went up just a little bit, so there's a little bit less shares that are available to be sold short, but the free flow on loan is still pretty high at 20 0.59% and the difference between 20.59% and 16.83% is give or take about 4% so there is some shares about four four percent of the free flow on loan that is still out on loan that has not been returned back or has been shorted into the market yet so there's definitely some ammo for more short selling to take place but i don't think it makes a lot of sense if you are a sense sensical hedge fund manager to be shorting amc before its earnings when historically in 2021 you would have lost a ton of money if you did that so that's the overall, you know, concept of what's going on with the Ortex data. Very, very bullish. Now, the 13F filings. This is very interesting, guys. We're starting to see more bullish activity, more new positions, and less firms that are actually selling out. And the firms that are selling out, like this one right here, sold out of their put position. So sold out of their short position but you're seeing all of these new positions 23,000 shares 26,000 shares 7,000 shares right here uh, at $47.36 328 almost 329,000 shares that are still holding on to their positions and like I said average cost of $47.36 no hedge fund in their right mind would do this if they thought AMC was never going to go back to that price they would cut the loss and get some of their investment back another 115,000 additional brand new shares that were purchased another 28,000 by Wells Fargo Master trust and you're seeing a lot of banks that are starting to buy amc brand new positions right here as well goldman sachs active beta r us small cap equity etf and uh, 23,607 shares right there you see vanguard still holding on to 1 million 28,000 shares and an average price at 36 $36.62. More Vanguard funds as well, holding a, you know, about 250,000 shares. And then another Goldman Sachs Innovate Equity ETF that did buy another 27,555 shares. So the overwhelmingly high majority of firms that have positions already in AMC are holding on to their positions. And then even more firms are initiating brand new positions comparatively to some firms that have reported they did sell out. So this is incredibly bullish. You want to see that that sentiment by the hedge funds and institutions continue to be bullish because those are going to be some of the guys that bring in a lot of muscle and a lot of money when it comes down to the squeeze that are making trades as well, piling into the stock. Now, obviously, Stanko Chakra data, nothing too crazy. Uh, November 19th is going to be where we can see a small to medium sized gamma squeeze, 8,700 for, for calls that are in the money, 168,000 for calls calls that are out of the money and that is obviously about you know 10 days after earnings so this is really going to be the first option expiration date to you know load up on uh, basically populate on the chain to see these numbers explode and then obviously december 17th and then january 21st 2022 is where you're going to see that big gamma squeeze potential but nothing too crazy until november 19th if you are somebody that trades options i don't trade options on amc i might when it comes down to the actual rally but until there's a rally it's 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 pretty pointless to do that if you are somebody that does that the november 19th would be the only ones that i would touch that are you know close to expiration obviously i wouldn't even buy those i would probably buy the january 21st 2022 but 
do what you guys want. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not going to tell you guys what to do. And like I said, earnings November 8th, and this is in uh, after hours at 4 p.m. So you're going to have, you know, four days of trading to digest this and potentially see a big rally. Like I said, much better than a Thursday or Friday earnings call like we have seen in the past. Something else you guys should definitely be mindful of November 2nd through the 3rd is the Fed meeting. They are widely expected to announce tapering a improbable but possible rate hike increase i say that because it's not expected it's really not on the radar until you know at least mid 2022 if not the end of 2022 or 2023 but anything can happen and people have been calling on the fed to increase the interest rates at least a little bit so who knows anything is on the table we will get more guidance as to how inflation is going if it is starting to subside if it is getting worse and we are like i said widely expected to actually get tapering and that will be tomorrow and the 3rd of November. So watch for any headlines. That's what I'm going to be watching for. There's definitely going to be volatility. There's going to be a lot of money to be made if you can play these different movements and pay attention to what the money is actually doing. So that's basically all from the data that you guys need to know about. AMC still climbing up 4.20%, 420. Uh, that's kind of funny, but uh, uh, it's it's still going up towards the end of the day. Only about 18 minutes left of trading today at about 4.3%. Now, currently, not if we do see an earnings run up throughout the rest of this week, I still expect to stay range bound in between about you know $35 and $40 per share, but I don't expect to break to the downside just because these announcements that we did get today. And this is really called an earnings run up where a lot of people will buy into a stock and then once earnings come, if they're not up to par with obviously to support the rally that you had already seen up before earnings, you'll see a sell off and a lot of research and analysis has went into this stocks that tend to stay flat or even go down into earnings tend to have a four percent greater rally after earnings that was done by goldman sachs and jp morgan so either way this goes i think you're going to see a rally i i personally think we're going to see all-time highs because of amc pivoting their business model and will ultimately get a higher valuation and just ultimately crush the short thesis once and for all on amc stock so that is going to be all for this video hopefully you guys got some value out of it if you did hit that like button for me consider subscribing to the channel let me know in the comment section what do you guys think what is your price prediction for earnings you guys already know the history i think history is going to repeat itself just like it has every time in 2021 where is your price range that you are looking for what is your price target to sell out let me know that information that is very beneficial to you and to everybody else down there as well as that check out the link for Moomoo. like i said guys can't go wrong with getting guaranteed free stock with a great brokerage app and there's also other links to get free stocks down there and the buy and sell alerts if you guys want to be notified every time a trade is bought or sold in stock options and or crypto whether it's a day trade swing trade or long-term investment check out the link for that as well we have been killing it and it pays for itself over and over and over again so i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your night and i'll see you in the next one